Hello everybody and welcome to Hawkeye FX with your host Marcus Toombs on the 12th of June 2017 and this is my quick look at the week ahead. Now what I'd like to do is look at the daily fat man here to see uh, the general directions and strengths of the trends for the coming week. You can see here this is the line for last week so last week we were looking at uh, the pound to turn up start coming into strength although that was heavily weighted with the UK election. We're looking for continued euro weakness. We were looking for US dollar strength, although this was going horizontal on the weekly time frame and was very much in congestion. And then we were looking for continued Japanese strength. Now, where are we now? You can see here the yen is just turning over. So uh, we're looking for this to top out and start to weaken. This uh, US dollar here is just turned up on a shoulder pattern, which is very nice. So we're still looking for the US dollar to come into strength. The euro, we are continuing to look for weakness through this week. And the pound here, it's going to take a few days to uh, settle down after the election, but uh, at the moment there's weakness in this currency, we'll be looking in the next few days, few weeks for the strength to come back into this currency. OK, so if we look at tier one news coming out this week, we can see the big news item here is the FOMC rate decision on Wednesday evening UK time. And you can see here we're expected to raise the interest rate from one to one point two five percent. And uh, if we do that, then there should be some strength coming into this U.S. dollar. Now, before that, we've got um, PPI on the U.S. dollar on Tuesday. And we've also got some uh, inflation data on the Wednesday. Of note, further on in the week, we've got the retail sales out of the U.K. and the Bank of England interest rate decision on Thursday. It will be largely overshadowed, I think, given the election results. On Friday, we have the monetary policy statement on the yen and uh, the CPI out of Europe. OK, if we start off looking at the pound, you can see the pound continues to weaken against all of the six currencies. And this will continue through this week as the political situation resolves itself uh, before we start to look for pound to turn and come back into strength. If we look at the euro, we can see it has now started to to weaken against all of the currencies apart from the pound given the situation in the UK. The interest you want to look at here is the euro US dollar which has been in this tight tight uh, consolidation range here and uh, we've we've now set the parameters for a trade here with a high a low pullback to the 50. We're looking to break this 100 now and trade this down. Okay if we look at the yen on the eight hour charts you can see that the yen has been strengthening most of these charts against its six pairs apart from the New Zealand which has started to strengthen against it and in uh, the latter part of last week the Aussie started to strengthen. We're now looking to isolate the low in each of these six charts and to look for the yen to start to weaken over the forthcoming week or fortnight. And lastly if we look at the US dollar on the eight hour charts you can see we discussed the euro already, the pound uh, we need to see this bottoming out first, the US Japan we have put in a bottom here and a first run up, a pull back to the 50. So it'll be interesting to see this week if we break this level here, this 100 level, uh, we can open an upside and see some strength coming into this currency. You can see against the uh, Aussie, it's looking like we're starting to put in a top here and for the New Zealand. OK, I hope that helps. All focus is on the FOMC on Wednesday and I think we should have a busy end to the week.